Hi everyone, welcome back to Buy Smart, where we help you spend your hard-earned money wisely. Today, we're diving deep into the world of mirrorless cameras with a heavyweight showdown between the Sony A7 III and the Sony ZV-E10. Spoiler alert, it's like comparing a Swiss army knife to a very fancy but totally useless spork. Let's kick things off with the price. The A7 III comes in at a solid $1,999, which is a hefty investment for a camera. On the other hand, the ZV-E10 is more budget-friendly, making it appealing to beginners. Reviewers note that for the A7 III, although it's expensive, it offers exceptional features that justify the cost. Meanwhile, the ZV-E10 is praised for its value, especially for those just starting their photography journey. So if you're looking for a more affordable option, the ZV-E10 could be the way to go. Now, let's talk sensors. The A7 III features an advanced 24.2 megapixels full-frame sensor, which reviewers rave about for its ability to capture stunning details. They mention that it excels in low-light conditions and provides impressive dynamic range. The ZV-E10, with its 24.2 megapixels APS-C sensor, is still quite capable but may not capture the same level of detail as the A7 III. Reviewers highlight that the ZV-E10 is great for vlogging and casual photography but lacks the full-frame advantage for serious photographers. So if you want a bigger slice of detail, the A7 III might be your guy. On to autofocus. The A7 III boasts 693 phase detection points, delivering impressive image coverage and speed. Reviewers have noted that it outperforms competitors in autofocus speed and accuracy, especially in low light. Meanwhile, the ZV-E10 has 425 autofocus points, which is still commendable but doesn't quite match the A7 II's prowess. Users have mentioned that the A7 III is ideal for capturing fast-moving subjects, while the ZV-E10 is suitable for more static shots. So, if you want to capture that fleeting moment of your cat's epic leap, the A7 III is ready to go. Now, let's roll into video capabilities. The ZV-E10 is perfect for vloggers, with UHD 4K 30p video and a user-friendly interface. Reviewers love its ease of use, especially for those new to video recording. The A7 III, while also capable of shooting in 4K, offers a plethora of advanced features that may overwhelm beginners. Users appreciate the A7 III for its stunning video quality, but some find the learning curve steep. If you're looking for simplicity, the ZV-E10 is your best friend. But if you want to dive deeper into the ocean of video features, the A7 III is your trusty submarine. Finally, let's see what's in the box. The A7 III comes with a lens, a battery, and all the essentials. Everything you need to start your photography journey. Reviewers appreciate that it includes high quality components. Meanwhile, the ZV-E10 comes with a massive camera bundle that includes a memory card, LED video light, tripod, and even a lens cleaning pen. While some users have reported issues with missing items, the overall consensus is that the ZV-E10 offers great value for the accessories included. If you love a good surprise, ZV-E 10's your best bet. Overall, the Sony A7 III receives high praise for its advanced features, exceptional image quality, and performance, making it a favorite among professionals. Reviewers feel it's worth the investment, especially for those serious about photography. On the other hand, the Sony ZV-E10 is celebrated for its affordability and ease of use, making it an excellent choice for beginners and vloggers. While it has some drawbacks, users appreciate its value for the price. So there you have it. 
The Sony A7 III is the powerhouse for serious photographers who want to capture every detail, while the Sony ZV-E10 is a vlogging dream for those who want to keep it simple and fun. Which one is right for you? Well, that depends. Are you shooting a wedding or vlogging your cat? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future battles. Until next time, keep buying smart. And remember, if it doesn't come with a lens cleaning pen, is it even worth it? See you next time.